What is up, y'all gang? It's your boy Taxon, and welcome back to FDBSCG Things. And today I got another very exciting battle for you guys. This is going to be round two of our local this week. This is going to be Controlly versus Majin Vegeta. But before we get into the battle, guys, I do want to say if you want any custom card sleeves and or mats, absolutely check out Promats, guys. The best place to go get your card needs. Link will be in the description below for you guys to go check them out. And also on the screen now, you can see that they are holding a monthly tournament via Discord at the second weekend of every single month with some great prizing. You can possibly win some Promat mats, some TCG medals leaders, and also some booster boxes. So absolutely, if you guys are interested, uh, I have a link below. Go to the Discord, get more information on it, and possibly join it if you want to. And also, really quickly, guys, I do want to talk about Dragon Ball Super Card Game Fest. If you guys are looking forward and just want to join an IRL event, we have two taking place fairly soon. One in Texas and one in Florida, and the registration is already live, so I'll leave links below for you guys to go register and get into this IRL event. So talking about them really quick, Texas is taking place March 19th through 20th. And Florida's taking uh, place March 26th through the 27th. And also, guys, if you can't, can't make it to the event, I do want to say we have some great commentators streaming the event on Twitch. So you can go watch it there. We have Evan U7, Eggman, and Crick God all doing their thing on Twitch for us. So absolutely go make sure you show them support if you're not going to go to the event. And with that being said, guys... Um, if you like this battle or my content in general, absolutely consider hitting that subscription, like, comment, and make sure you hit that bell so you're notified every single time I upload a video. And with that being said, guys, let's see how this battle goes. Alrighty, you guys, and here we are with the battle with Controlly on the left, Set15 Broly, and me playing Majin Vegeta on the right. Uh, my brother actually got me a metal leader for Majin Vegeta, knowing that it's a leader that holds a uh, near and dear spot in my heart uh, for Christmas. So I decided I would bust it out and play it for the first time. Uh, this past weekend and I actually uh, I had fun I had a lot of fun honestly and this game was a very good lesson learner uh, because I hadn't played the deck in so long I misplayed like two times and you guys are gonna experience that with me so stay tuned as you can see we are officially set up my first I actually rolled high this turn so my first turn I'm gonna take the turn to tap one play the bibbity I had in my hand to search my deck for the Majin the Quickening um, this card does have an errata. If you guys do not know, I cannot use that card unless I am at three or more energy. So, control his very first turn. He's going to charge a crown, swing, pitch himself an extra card, draw two. Uh, I take that life. Uh, it's going to help me uh, awaken. Puts a card underneath Majin Quickening. He passes turn. I will charge. I charge myself a seven drop. I don't need those in hands because I do use the four cost. Uh, the four cost play here I swing with the 15k random servant I get the damage in I overlord him I swing with my leader I take a life I draw and I put a card from the top of my deck under Majin the Quickening this will give me plus five and double strike and this will be to his six or seven life putting him down to five if he takes it See what I continue to do if I will keep pushing or not. Uh, here I pay one for a Bibbidi, probably top seven searching for a servant. Uh, here probably just trying to get things in hand so my next turn is a little bit more explosive. Here I get the one drop self awakening card. Oh, uh, this card's actually really good. It's a 15k on play, and then it has an option when it's played to rip a life and gain double strike. Uh, it is an option, so you don't need to do so if you want to just play it for a uh, 15k swing and a bottom deck draw card. Uh, you can always do so. Uh, going back to his turn, he charges Omen the Awakening. Um, probably going to try to add some pressure here. I'd imagine he's probably going to try to swing with a crit attack or something. Uh, we'll see what he does here. He's swinging with his leader. Choosing an extra card in hand in order to pitch to draw two. Using a Demonic Blitz as his target, getting two new cards to his hand. Here's going to pay one, uh, give him 5k in critical. And here he's just going to make him a big uh, 20k crit. I'm just going to take it. A uh, card from the top of my deck goes under Majin Quickening. That crit actually kind of sucked because I really needed that 3 drop in hand. Uh, so here he passes with one up. I get my energy back. We're going to charge one from hand. how I decide to play this out. I tap one, play the Majin Vegeta, probably trying to bait him from a uh, 5 to 3. I get the Majin a, a quickening effect. 
here I decided to use it I want to use all of my effects before I have to shuffle or before I want to use this these shuffling effects before I start bottom decking my servants uh, here I play the deflect one that uh, KOs a four cost or no it looks like I'm changing my mind it looks like I decided to go barrier which is probably the better option here because I can uh, avoid taking any red uh, neg damage uh, because I do have barrier unless of course he does have a card that uh, minuses his battle cards ignoring barrier uh, so here I swing with the 20k he's gonna uh, negate with unending awakening giving his leader uh, making his leader a 15k for the turn uh, here I'm gonna use the ball goes underneath and goes through my deck and it grabs myself a four cost this four cost has an auto when it's played. I get to look at the top seven cards in my deck and play a nine cost or less non black z uh, card with Zeno and his character name. So here I'm doing my search. Uh, I find the slug. Uh, big thing for me uh, uh, revisiting Majin Vegeta this weekend. Uh, I did not run a secondary target f uh, for the seven drop. S so that really hurt me. I really should have added the five drop boo, at least one copy. When I got home, I actually did put one copy of the boo in there. Here I'm swinging with the 15k, comboing up to 25. Here I'm swinging with the triple strike, seeing if he has a negate. I pay one. I'm going to take a card from his hand. I'm going to super combo here. Looks like I'm just trying to add some pressure. I really wanted to use my two energy because I do, it's in my awakening turn, and Majin Vegeta is a stand two. So the cell command mail was honestly just to get that extra energy out of the way. Here, forcing him into his awakening, he awakens, stands, draws, takes another. Oh yeah, and this leader uh, awakens at three, so knocking him from five to three was probably the uh, worst idea. I probably should have swung with a uh, single strike first. Here he combos out, taking a lot of resources out of his hand there. Uh, here I use my leader's uh, frontside overlord effect to bottom deck, draw a card, activate my leader's main, take a life, draw a card, get plus five and double strike for the turn. And here I'm swinging in with the boo. This card is actually very good. Once you swing with it, it stays in rest mode. It does have barrier and has auto once per turn if your opponent wants to attack your leader. They have to choose two cards in their hand and discard them. So very, very good card. Here he's using the plus 10 on demonic playtime as a defensive tool. Very smart. Here I'm checking my drop, probably trying to see what the better play is. Here I have three energy up. And I probably should have played the three drop Vegeta. But like I said, I do learn a hard lesson this weekend. After not playing Majin Vegeta for so long, I forgot that that 4-drop was unique. And I did forget to add uh, a copy of the 5-drop in the deck. So this here is where I really I really mess up. I tap 3 knowing that he doesn't have a counterplay to mess with any boos I play. I tap 3 because I know I have a boo and a ball in hand. And I here I believe that I'm going to be slick with it and go into a whole new chain and I was completely wrong here I play out the four drop and I'm like oh yeah I'm super super smart and I'm looking at the card and the longer I looked at it I was like oh my god this thing's unique so I'm looking through my deck like please tell me I was smart and added added uh, something else and I totally didn't uh, shout out barber <laughs> hitting the pre-release uh, flip Han leader for me thanks man appreciate that uh, I didn't have a target there, so I kind of just had to eat that misplay to the face. That was a hard tap three for a 20k single strike. Um, but you know what? It is it is what it is, guys. Uh, you live and you learn from your games. Let, uh, let us make the mistakes for you guys. Absolutely. Uh, watch our videos and learn from them as well as we are. So here we are going into his... This is what we would call a clapback turn, guys. So I am completely tapped out. I am playing green. I don't really have much options in order of def uh, in, yeah, in, in options of defense. So here is kind of what we would call a clapback turn. He is going to go absolutely off. He is at three energy, which officially means that that 
that Broly, Bear Hug Broly, can hit field and take care of me very, very easily because I am only at three life. And if that means that if he has the secret rare in hand, it's absolutely going to shut off everything in my deck because my deck does not give me great hand power. And most of my cards are a 0 plus 5k combo. And the secret rare alone kills all of them. Here I got really cocky. I was like, oh yeah, I got the counterplay for this. I totally forgot I was deflect. So I was like, oh yeah, that, that's, a de that's a big deflect card right there. I can't do nothing to that. So as I thought I had an out for it, hoping to God that maybe this would do something. It does not. You cannot counterplay Burley. That is definitely hitting the field. Here he's reminding himself that uh, when you're comboing in high stress situations, make sure you are th planning for future turns because here he really wishes he did not combo out his extra Burley card in order to get that. Uh, that in additional effect that Burley has when you pitch a card. So here I'm reading off Slug for him. Slug, obviously, if you guys don't know, he is a permanent. He is a deadly defender if he's in rest mode. And then also Boo, he is kind of like a weird deadly defender, but it's only once per turn. If your opponent attacks a leader while he's in rest mode, they discard two cards from hand. So it kind of just forces your opponent into a situation where they have to attack and kill that card uh, before they can proceed into taking damage from your life. So here he swings into the Deadly Defender. I know he's going to kill me this turn, so I comboed out trying to trying to force him to keep swinging at the Deadly Defender for as long as I can because I have no negates, and I know the moment he starts getting through, he's getting all the way through. So here he swings in with the leader. He gets its effect, draw a card, uses the demonic playtime from the drop area, draws a card, gets plus 10k. Very, very powerful. Then now he's at 25 with the card. Here I'm thinking maybe I am safe to let it die. Uh, but he actually combos a, a bunch more using his activate battle skill. Very, very powerful effect there. Here he gets to use his Broly effect where uh, he's or actually already did mid battle step. Here he swings, gets the double strike in, and then I took it thinking that that was it. But no, he had the Broly, and the only card in my hand that was worth a combo power was my super combo and that was absolutely all I could do that Broly SER is such a very very good powerful SER for the deck but with that being said guys that was a battle hope you guys enjoyed make sure you subscribe and like the video we'll see you guys in the next video see ya